three minute game practicing the is my king safe concept. I think in the shorter games it is all about just trying to keep your king as safe as possible not overthinking any other concepts other than just keeping your king safe and that is it really you start thinking too much about all the other types of openings this way and that way of doing certain things you don't have that time so for me I'm just thinking is my king safe if it's not I need to sort it out rapidly okay let's take this bishop off the board Develop the knight, x-ray through to the queen, don't forget, with the bishop. Let's just start pressuring their king. Yep, is their king safe? No, it's not. Let's keep pressing. Pressing the king area, let's keep pressing. Knight takes. X-ray through to the queen, again with the rook, when he takes the pawn. Sometime today, yep, okay, x-ray through to their queen. Does their knight have access to our king? Yes, they do. Queen is safe now because, let's just bring this knight here, looking to attack here, towards the king area, towards the queen. Let's. Oh, oh, don't miss that. Let's take this queen off the board. Let's just get through here, attacking the king area. Okay, pressure, pressure. Take the bishop off the board. This rook, this knight doesn't have any protection on. It's looking to push onto the bishop to attack our queen. X-ray through. Let's capture this knight because it's got no protection. Takes the bishop. Take the rook. Higher piece. Take the rook. Put pressure on the king. Pawn drops. Let's lean on this pawn. Put a check on the king. King hides around the back. And let's just uh, checkmate here. Whew. So that was, for me, that was a nice example for myself of pressuring the king, Gary. Is my king safe? Making sure my king is safe. And then looking at the weakness of the opponent's king and keeping that constant pressure on the higher pieces, such as the queen and the, the rooks.